Okay. First of all, good morning. Good morning. How's your morning today? Yeah, it's so nice. Uh, actually, generally we pass the same thing I did. Wake up in the morning and do something, whatever I want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm Tanya and I'm connecting with you from Jaipur City. I'm a homemaker. That's all about me. Now your okay. turn. Yeah, this is MD Elijah talking to you from Bihar and as a computer science engineering 2020 has completed and now currently as a teacher doing job in a school and simultaneously uh, in, in my district I'm running my own institute. Yeah, that's all about me. Yeah. So today's topic is forgiveness. What do you understand by this word forgiveness? Maafi. Samara. Okay. So uh, first of all, I would like to request you that you do start first. Okay, then I will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is a very, you can say in Hindu re religion, there is a mythological story. All are aware of the Mahabharat war. I think all are aware of this war. In this war, there was a character of Ashwatthama, who was the son of Dronacharya. Dronacharya was the teacher of the Kaurav and Pandav. Okay. After the war, when all the Pandav son were, uh, son were uh, sleeping in the night, then Ashwatthama killed all the sons in the sleeping mode. And it was a very heinous crime. So that time, uh, Rishnar warned that we should give punish him. But Sri Krishna said, no, you should, uh, for, you should give forgiveness and you should show some mercy also. Because after giving some punishment, I think it will increase your rage also, increase, increase your anger also. And the violence will never stop. But when you do this kind of thing, like you are giving forgiveness this person, after that, he will also regretting why I have done this heinous crime. Mm. Because in the war, there is a rule. If someone is in a good, uh, you know, uh, situation, you can say good mental state and in the daytime, always this war is conducted. But in the night time, war also closed. But he has done this in the night time. And when the war was totally completed and mm -hmm. they had already won the war, Pandav had won the war, but he had done this only just taking the revenge. Ashwatthama done this only just taking the revenge. For his friend, for his father, that's it. So after hearing this, Yudhishthira forgave him. And after that, he feels that he is getting some inner uh, peace. Mm -hmm. When we are annoyed with someone, like someone has done wrong with us, that time, you know, you, we are full of anger. And it will also impact our mental health. Mm -hmm. That's why I am narrating the story. So now I can know about your opinion, uh, opinion, this term forgiveness. Do you think it is a right thing for us? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, I mean, a powerful person can be for forgiveness, you know, to someone. A loser cannot forgiveness to someone. You know, if someone is equal to you, so he will try to get revenge from you. Uh -huh. But a person who is powerful than you, so he always forgive you. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it's the very thing that yeah, you feel yourself very calm and uh, very happy. You feel yourself very proud that I forgive, you know, him. Good thing. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, we should also concern about that. Sometimes it's happened with us any mistake in our life. We do various kind of war activities, uh, you know. So, uh, uh, knowingly, unknowingly, we do some kind of mistake. So it's, uh, uh, you know, if someone is, suppose that I am giving you an example over here, a teacher who is, uh, you know, teaching in a uh, school. And what about the student? He does not know each and everything. Okay, sometimes he behave like uh, he's not in the classroom. He's just like uh, outside from the, you know, uh, school. So teacher has a capability and power to forgive them. Okay, he has done mistake. He, uh, you know, uh, broken the rule and regulation discipline. So I think that, uh, you know, uh, teacher will forgive him. So it's a very good thing. Yeah. But some teachers, I think some teachers, not all of the teachers, give some kind of punishment also. 
And you can say it's a very hard punishment sometimes. Do you think it's the right thing? Yeah, let me tell you one thing. You know, punishment is uh, important because uh, once, twice, you can forgive someone. If the same thing he will do again and again, so it's a really major problem. You should concern about that and you should take action against him, that whatever he is doing. Okay, so I think that, uh, yeah, it's also essential for us, you know. By your opinion, I think I had understand that one time I think we should uh, someone give forgiveness. But if uh, he or she is giving this kind of thing again and again, after that, I think we should take strict action. Yeah, of course, of course. Definitely. Because all times if you are, you know, sometimes we are thinking, oh, okay, let it go away. I think it is good. But every time if you are doing this kind of thing, I think after that, that kind of person, you can say bad person, bad he person. will take advantage from you. Yeah, of course. Actually, his uh, total, uh, you know, totally intention to disturb you. His main motiva uh, motivation, uh, you know, behind you that how can I interrupt him? How can I disturb him? Okay, so that point of time, uh, you should, uh, uh, you know, uh, take action against him. But sometimes it happens, you know, uh, unknowingly. He does not know. He, his intention is not to get hurt you. Okay. But uh, uh, that point of time, you can forgive him. You know, so it's a very good thing. Have you ever faced this kind of situation in your life? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, I'm a teacher. So I can mm -hmm. say you have, uh, uh, you know, a number of, uh, you know, experience I have faced in my life, that kind of, you know. Because every day I get a student that who is, uh, you know, not well in education uh, studies, but uh, they are behaving like, uh, you know, seems to be like very well and uh, very good uh, knowledgeable, knowledgeable person and uh, behave like a third, uh, third, grade, third grade person. Okay, so mm -hmm. sometimes I try to give him back, you know, reply. So I hurt him sometimes. And sometimes I forgive him because, uh, uh, you know, not, you know, every guy, some guy he, you know, do used to do kind of work. So, of course, I uh, I have experienced lots of experience and real life also. In real life, uh, there are so many people uh, where you have surrounded. Okay, so it might be there is a person that uh, who is uh, really wanted to hurt you and wanted to, uh, you know, demoralize you. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. uh, is the very important point that you have to stand up for yourself and uh, you have to take action against him. Mm -hmm. I think the conclusion is forgiveness is a good thing, but someone is doing again and again some uh, mischievous thing. I think that time we should take action. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. And uh, as you mentioned about uh, your story, you know, so. Uh, Sudhishan. Sudhishan Sri Krishna story. Yeah. And do you know, ma'am, actually, uh, uh, nowadays, uh, what is happening in our uh, society that uh, uh, every person will not uh, forgive you because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, they, if you will hurt you, uh, you know, once, so they will hurt you again and again. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the person, who, suppose that an, a neutral person, he does not do anything, but a person mm -hmm. is, um, comes and irritated you. Okay, so what they will do? So when he will start to, uh, you know, irritate them or, uh, you know, hurt them, so it will be very, you know, highly uh, way. Okay, so I think that, uh, I mean, uh, we have, a, uh, in this earth, uh, you know, there are so many people who has a different kind of mindset. So it totally depends person to person that... Uh, yes, it depends yeah. person to person. Yeah, that uh, you forgive or uh, you just uh, be continue. And sometimes it becomes, uh, you know, weakness. Weakness, it means that uh, we don't want to uh, take action against him and we are just thinking about our society. If I will, you know, uh, demoralize in the level of him or I will fall down in the level of him. So it might be the my image in my society will be in a different. So that's why people we generally used to ignore kind of thing. Yes. Yes. But you know, nowadays I have seen like uh, there are some bad person who have done very, uh, you can say, very wrong things in the society. Hmm. Sometimes, you know, uh, who are the victims, they can't control their feelings and they are giving, you can say, punishment also. 
Hmm. They are not waiting for any judgment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I wanted to tell you one thing uh, for here. Uh, what do you think? A person, suppose that a very powerful person and with uh, and another person is very weak and by the powerful person again and again, you know, hurt him. So in our Indian constitution, we have a right, you know, for, uh, you know, self-defense uh, or something like we can... Uh, uh, FIR, uh, you can register a FIR in police station. There are so many steps. So many steps, you know, because uh, uh, in this uh, modern world, uh, you know, every person, you know, very, uh, actually, it's my own opinion. I don't know mm -hmm. what other people think about that. I mean, uh, people are just wanted to be calm and they don't care about what other person, uh, they are get hurt or not. They are not caring about. Just you know, they are looking their own. Just a minute, someone is calling me. Just... Yes, you are asking if someone is again and again hurting me. First of all, I will watch what type of thing he is again and again doing. Okay, depends on their, you know, action. Like there are some heinous crimes also. Mm hmm I don't know who is calling again and again. Yes. Now I'm coming to my point. I'm saying that it depends on the crime, what type of crime they are doing. Okay. Like they are sometimes just they are teasing us. Then that time we can take help. You can say uh, police. But there are some heinous crime also. And we are human also. Okay. And I think we all are aware of the uh, law. Because it is taking so much time. We have mm. seen so much cases also. And I can say I'm also human. Sometimes I also lose my, you can say, control. <laughs> mm. Yes. So maybe it depends on the situation. Situation. As you said that about uh, it depends on the crime. Yeah, of course. If someone and is... second thing, like uh, in the human life, I know everyone loves their kids, their parents also. Because if uh, somebody is hurting me, it's okay. But somebody hurting me, my family, I think that time I will take a strict action. Mm. Yeah, of course. Why not? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, as you, uh, you know, raise one person, uh, yeah, one point over here, which is very valuable. Uh, you know, as you said that about it depends the crime. Yeah, of course. Someone, you know, kills someone, some person, other yes. person. So it is not to forgive forgiveness. Okay. Yes. 